Hello students, as you reach to the last moment for the preparation of your ICSC 2025 computer applications paper, here I am with you presenting the assertion reason based questions. These questions, they are very important and uh, they have been introduced to the curriculum since the last around one or two years and uh, there are at least two to three questions. These questions are very important because जो चार ऑप्शन होते हैं assertion, reason, right? There is a statement और उस statement के साथ एक reason होता है। तो आपको ये पता करना होता है चार ऑप्शन्स होते हैं। Assertion is correct and reason is correct and the reason is a correct explanation of the assertion, right? Second हो जाता है क्या उसमें कि assertion सही है, reason भी सही है, लेकिन Assertion ka sahi reason wo justification nahi hai wo reason. Third, assertion bhi sahi hai, lekin reason galat hai. Fourth, assertion ka statement galat hai, lekin reason ka statement sahi. To, yahan pe ye sahi hota hai ki aap apne nazar se na dekho usko, us question ko aap examiner ki nazar se dekho. कि जो क्वेश्चन सेटर है उसने क्या सोच के ये स्टेटमेंट्स बनाए होंगे ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है इवन योर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशंस आल्सो यू गेट क्वेश्चंस फॉर दिस एसर्शन रीजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस तो यहां पे मैं एक कम्युलेटिव सेट लेके आया हूं एसर्शन रीजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस का जिसमें कि सारे चैप्टर से एसर्शन रीजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस होंगे माय रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू काइंडली गो थ्रू ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन वंस so that you are aware of the different types of assertion reason based questions which can be there for your examinations and it will give you an idea also ki kis tarike se aapko assertion reason based questions solve karne hain iska bhi aapko idea lag jayega so i hope students you are ready for this set of questions to yahan pe main leke aata hu aapke liye this assertion reason based questions for the ICAC 2025 computer applications paper. Pala question, chapter 1, revision of class 9 syllabus. So, this is the first thing class 9. Mein jo aapne padha hua hai. Assertion is that Java is platform independent due to its right to once run anywhere capability. This is a statement. And the reason ho gaya iska, Java code is compiled into bytecode, which can run on any platform with a compiler Java compatible Java virtual machine. So, what do you see here? Assertion is right. Java is platform independent. Reason is specified here that Java code is compiled into bytecode, which can run on any platform with a compatible Java virtual machine. So, क्या हो गया? Assertion and reason are true and reason are is a correct explanation of assertion A. So A will be the correct answer. I hope this is clear. Now we come to question number two. In processor oriented programs, more emphasis is given on the function and function share global data. तो क्या हुआ यहाँ पे? Processor oriented program more emphasis is given on functions. That is a wrong statement. But reason में specify कर रहा है function share global data. That's true. So assertion is false and reason R is true. Okay. Question three, you see, a class represents a group of objects of the same kind. Reason, objects of the class are treated as variables of the same class. So here, what is happening? A, when one type of value is assigned to another type of variable, the data type is converted automatically. Reason, variable of lower data type is converted to a value of a higher data type. That's also true. Okay, so answer is A. Next. An accumulator is a variable used to calculate. Accumulator kya hota hai? Variable ko temporary result ko store karta hai. Calculate the sum or product of a series. Reason accumulator stores the result. Yes, it is A. New is a keyword used in Java. New creates a new class. Ab yaha pe reason to specify nahi kar raha hai. So it will be assertion and reason are true. But the reason is not a correct explanation. Explanation nahi hai. So it will be B. The scanner class present in java.util package is used to read input from the keyboard. Yes. The package is called using the call by value method. Ye to koi sense nahi banta hai. Assertion is A is correct, but the reason is wrong. The break statement in switch constructor is used to terminate the sequential execution of the statements. Reason are a break statement transfer the execution outside the switch block. Yes, it is true. So the correct answer is A. Assertion. 
The counter variable stores an initial value and gets updated when a condition is satisfied. Reason it checks the execution of if else statement. Assertion is true, but the reason is false. The continuous statement changes the flow of execution to stop the sequential execution and resume the condition check. Reason it takes the loop for the next. Yeah, it's true. Correct answer is A. A class encapsulates the data members and member functions. It is used to create an object. Reason class is object factory. Yes, it is correct answer is A. Primitive data types are independent data types and has a fixed memory. Yes, it is true. Non-primitive data types are dependent on primitive data types. Reason be true, but well, the assertion ke liye specify nahi ho hai. So it will be B. Assertion and reason are true. And the reason is not a correct explanation. Infinite loop never terminates. In the infinite loop, there is a condition that never returns false. Yes, it's true. So correct answer is A. JVM is a Java interpreter loaded in the computer memory as soon as Java is loaded. Reason, JVM is different for different platforms. No. So it will be B. Assertion and reason are true. Reason is not a correct explanation. JVM is a Java interpreter loaded in the computer memory as soon as Java is loaded. Reason, JVM is different for different platforms. Again, it will be assertion and reason. They are true, but it is not a correct explanation. So that was from chapter number one. Now we come to chapter number two. Class as basis of all computation. Assertion says two objects need to communicate with each other in order to interact. Reason, the communication between objects is referred to as message passing. Okay, it's A. In Java, every variable and expression has a type. Reason, all values assigned to the variables are checked for compatibility by the interpreter. Assertion here is true, but the reason is false. Number 18, a variable declared within the body of a method cannot be accessed outside the method. Reason, the variables declared within the body of a method are called local variables. It is A, right? Assertion, a static date member variable can be accessed only in the static methods without associating with an object. Reason, non-static member variables can be accessed in static methods by associating them with objects separated by a dot. Here it will be B. Assertion and reason are true, but the reason is not a correct explanation. Number 20, a class is called a composite data type. Reason, a class binds up one or more primitive data types together as a single data type. Here, what is happening? The assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation. Number 21. The main function is the most important function in the Java program. Yes, it is. The main function is called by the import keyword. The assertion is correct here, but the reason is false because the main function is not called by the import keyword. So it will be the correct option will be C. I hope it's clear to everyone. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, question number 22. Non-static variables are called local variables. Every object created in a, from a class definition will have its own copy of the variable. Here, the assertion is false, but the reason is true. Now, chapter number three, user-defined functions. Question number 23. Functions are quote, reusability of codes. Reason, the code is written once as a function can be called whenever required. Yes, it's A. Number 24, the program is divided into simpler tasks and written using functions. Reason. It increases the complexity of the programs. Correct answer is C. Okay. Next question number 25. The parameter list contains the variable names preceded by the data type of the variable. Reason they store the values passed to them from the statement that calls the function. Correct answer is B. Number 26. In call by reference, the changes in formal parameters will be reflected in the actual parameter. Reason the formal parameters will be the reference variables when the function is called by reference. The correct answer will be a, because assertion and reason both are true and the reason is a correct explanation of assertion. Number 27, function overloading is an implementation of inheritance. Okay, it's true or false. Okay, function overloading can be done by changing number of arguments or by changing the data type of function overloading is not an implementation of inheritance. So assertion is false, reason is true. Number 28, in a pure function, there is no change in the state of the function. Okay, that's true. A pure function always returns a value. Okay, that's also true. But again, uh, it's not a specific reason here. So it will be option B. 29, there is no restriction on the number of return statements that may be present in a function. Reason, a function can return only a single value. Okay, yes, it's true. So a correct answer will be B. Next chapter is constructors. Question number 30, a constructor does not have a return type. 
ठीक है ट्रू कंस्ट्रक्टर शुड बी डिफाइंड विद पब्लिक एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर और नो एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर इट्स ऑल्सो ट्रू बट देर इज नो स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर द रीजन सो इट विल बी Number thirty-one. A constructor automatically gets invoked whenever the object of the class is created. That's also true. The name of the constructor is same as that of the class name. Yes. The reason also is correct, so it will be option A. Thirty-two. A non-parameterized constructor does not accept any parameter. Reason: it gets the value from the object when it is created. Okay. It's also A. A constructor can be created anywhere in the class. Reason: the constructor gets called when the object of the class is created. Yes, it is true. Number thirty-four. We can have more than one constructor in a program. This is known as constructor overloading. Reason: constructor overloading. All constructors are called together. The correct option is C. Okay. The private data members are not accessible outside the class by any means. A constructor is used to assign the initial value to private data members of the class. Correct answer here is A. The number of actual parameters cannot be different from the number of formal parameters. Reason: if a class is called, its constructor is automatically created. Okay. The correct answer will be. B. Chapter five, library classes. Question number thirty-seven. The classes contained in packages can be reused in other programs without physically copying them into the program. Reason: the predefined classes of Java get included in application program itself. Correct answer will be A. Number thirty-eight. A class is a construct that binds one or more primitive types together to be used as a single data type. Reason: composite data types are composed of primitive data types. Okay, it's true, but it is not a proper reason, so it will be B. Auto boxing is responsible for converting primitive data type values to corresponding wrapper class. Auto boxing or unboxing will be very important. Hai. The wrapper class is helpful in creating objects of the classes which will be similar to the primitive data types. Here, the correct answer will be A because the assertion and reason both are true, and the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Next question number forty. Java treats upper case and lower case as letters differently. Reason: Java is a case-sensitive programming language. It's true. Assertion and reason both are true, and the reason is the correct explanation. Next, uh, storing data from a wrapper object to a primitive value is known as unboxing. Reason: the wrapper class of int is integer. Yes, it is. Assertion is true, but the reason is false because wrapper class का क्या होगा? Integer का i capital होगा. Program में भी इस चीज का ध्यान देना सब लोग. ओके नेक्स्ट चैप्टर सिक्स इज एनकैप्सुलेशन एनकैप्सुलेशन क्या है एनकैप्सुलेशन इन जावा प्रोग्राम डेटा मेंबर्स एंड मेथड्स आर बाउंड इन अ सिंगल यूनिट रीजन द रैपिंग अप ऑफ डेटा एंड फंक्शंस इन अ सिंगल यूनिट कॉल्ड एक्स एनकैप्सुलेशन इट इज ट्रू करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ए नंबर 43 द क्लास वेरिएबल्स आर एसोसिएटेड विद द क्लास रदर देन योर ऑब्जेक्ट ठीक है यस ट्रू द वैल्यूज दैट द क्लास वेरिएबल्स टेक आर ग्लोबल टू द क्लास एंड डू नॉट बिलोंग टू एनी ऑब्जेक्ट यस इट इज आल्सो ट्रू एंड इट इज अ करेक्ट रीजन सो इट विल बी ऑप्शन इट विल बी A. Number forty-four. Local variables cannot be used outside the body of the method. That's true. The local variables are declared while creating the class. It is false, right? They are declared while declaring the method. Uske andar declared kiya jata hai. So the correct option will be C. Next forty-five. An argument variable is an actual parameter that is used when a function is called. Its value is passed to the formal parameter. Yes, it will be A. What is it? Encapsulation keeps data safe from being misused or mishandled. Reason encapsulation is the reason of overloading. Assertion is true, but the reason is false, so it is C. Number forty-seven. The lifetime of a local variable is confined to its scope. Reason: the local variables are not accessible outside the method block. It will be A. True. An interface defines all variables as final. Reason: the keyword final makes a variable as constant. Assertion is true. Reason is true, but the reason is not a correct explanation. Next chapter is array is a very important topic chapter for the programming. We'll discuss on that as well. <coughs> An integer array which stores ten elements needs four t bytes for storage. Okay, the elements of the array have index position zero to nine. Yes, they have zero to nine. मतलब ten elements हो गए. और एक integer को four byte required होता है तो forty bytes for storage. Yes, it is true. A number fifty. Int d equal to twelve, fifteen, eighteen, fourteen. D dot length equal to three. One, two, three, four. Assertion is false because it should return four. Assertion is false. The length statement specifies the number of elements in the array and counts from one. Yes. So assertion is false and reason is true. Number fifty-one. Int d equal to fifteen, twenty-three, sixty-one, forty-six. A four equal to forty-six. This is also wrong. If we try to access elements outside, then because range कहाँ से होगा zero से लेके three तक होगा. So assertion is false and reason R is true. An array containing five letters will require ten bytes for storage. Yes, 
the size of a character data type is two bytes. Yeah, it's the correct justification. So correct answer is A. Linear search can be applied even if the array is not sorted. Yes, it's true because linear search may data sorted on a journey, but binary search may the data should be in a sorted manner, right? So it will be A. Binary search is faster than linear search. Binary text search takes place on sorted array. ठीक है sort faster है and uh, sorted array में होता है so it's not a correct justification reason नहीं है तो it will be B fifty five int n equal to two three four five six n one plus n two equal to n three n one plus n two equals equals n three n one में क्या है three n two में क्या है four three plus four कितना होता है seven that is not n three okay so it will be false the elements of the array are accessed by the subscript position ये तो statement सही है लेकिन assertion is wrong right okay so now I have Come to the last chapter that is string handling. Question number fifty-six. A string is a group of characters. Yes, it's true. Java provides a class string in Java dot lang package. Ye bhi true hai, but wo correct reason nahi hai. So it will be B. String n equal to Harshit. Okay. N dot character three zero one two three. Okay, sahi hai. The caret method returns the character present at the specified index position in the string. That's also true. Okay. So yahan pe correct answer kya ho jayega? A. Assertion A equals and compare two methods perform the same task. No, equals check करता है whether same or not, or compare to find करता है which is the bigger or which is the smaller or they are equal. Equals has a return type of boolean, सही है. Compare to returns integer data type, that's also true. Okay. Happy birthday ends with day returns false. The return type of ends with method is boolean. Ends uh, happy birthday ends with day returns false. That's uh, false. Okay, and yes, so it will be D. Number sixty. Coffee dot replace f comma e will replace. Okay, all the f will be replaced by e. The replace char char function replaces all occurrence of second character with the first character. नहीं ये उल्टा हो रहा है. First को second से replace करता है. So assertion A is true and the reason R is false. So I hope with this everybody is confident about the. Assertion reason based questions. Assertion reason based questions. सबको समझ में आ गए होंगे अच्छे से. And everybody must be confident about this, right? सबको assertion reason based questions अच्छे से clear हो गया होगा. So with this, even we have converted already the output based questions or the assertion reason based questions भी हो गए हैं. Theory भी हो गया है. So I hope with this much you were all confident about the theory portion. And yes. when you appear for your computer paper all of you should be confident enough and you must be able to i will be expecting full marks in the theory part and again i'll be taking the session in which we will be discussing about the programming portion